following is a presentation of TFNN. It is now time for the Diagnostic Trading Hour with your host, Daryl Martin. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Daryl Martin. All righty, folks, come on back here to the Diagnostic Trading Hour. Let's do a quick uh, market recap and check for you on where everything's at right now. I'll leave the charts up. I'll just go over the reviews. We're going to be looking at oil and a couple other things today, talking about iron condors. But uh, looking on over at uh, where the markets are right now, we got oil is currently down about 36 pips. We got dollar index down 0.349. S&P is down five and a half. We got gold up slightly 2.6. We got copper down 0.015. And we got natural gas down 0.129. Russell is slightly in the negative territory there. Uh, small cap down 4.6 with the Dow down 46. And uh, bonds uh, pretty flat on the day going into roll. We got uh, corn right now. Corn is currently up three and a half points. Soybeans down 2.75. Aussie in down 96. Some good moves there. Aussie dollar down 80. Euro pound up 39. We got Euro yen up 82. Euro dollar up 39. Pound is down 45. Pips pound dollar is down 44. And we got dollar cat down 12, dollar franc down 66, and dollar yen flat on the day. A uh, couple top headlines for you real quick in today's news. We've got U.S. housing data, sturdy jobs market, showing a possible growth outlook. Wall Street uh, obviously moving down as China and Greece are weighing down on the markets. Uh, the Greek exit is, again, a possibility says the IMF. So they basically have kept teasing, teasing, teasing with it and looking at doing it. And they're all, everybody's wondering what kind of impact will that really have, which is great news because it'll cause volatility. We can use that volatility. Dollar Frank uh, dropping below the 100 day uh, simple moving average now starting to move on down. Oil prices uh, moving up a little bit as uh, prices, uh, as inventory drops below, but uh, has given up those gains. But uh, starting to try to move on back up there. So uh, starting to move on back up. We're going to look at how to possibly do a neutral play into the day um, on oil. Remember, oil had its inventory report a day late today because of the holiday. Gasoline uh, supplies falling down. And let's see what else we got. Aussie dollar hitting fresh monthly lows. Moving on down. Gold dropping down early in the morning, but doing a little bit of a recovery. All right. So let's talk about... Um, we got oil, oil inventory, usually not a trade. I uh, prefer as much when it's off uh, on its normal kilter right there. And uh, we can go through a couple other ones as well. Uh, but while we're on the gold chart or oil chart, we'll just leave that one up. I'm going to come back to it. Um, gold, don't forget, it rolls over today on Nadex. So if you haven't rolled, you need to roll your gold futures over to the next contract, um, and which is listed right inside the contract name on the Nadex scanner. So just to show you where that's at, in case you haven't noticed, I don't. it doesn't matter what contract you're looking at, you can see which one you should be using. Just click on gold, and right there, it'll tell you in a lot of different places. But um, it'll say August 2015 futures. That's the Q5 contract, or 08-15 if you're a ninja. Also, in the name of the contract, it'll actually have the words AUG for August. So make sure you're always staying on top of that so you don't get confused there. Uh, so, uh, as far as futures, you want to roll over when you see the volume roll over. So just a reminder, just some basic reminders. Uh, I'm always trying to emphasize these things as we got new traders coming on, traders trying to understand roles and how it works over here. Going on into gold futures, we can see on the quotes page, I went to cmegroup.com. I went to trading. I went to metals, chose gold and clicked on quotes. And you can see the volume now is exceeding 128,000. Let me zoom in there. 128,000 contracts on the August contract compared to only 45,000 now on June. So gold has definitely rolled. So futures or Nadex derivatives of those futures should be moving on over. Gold is one of the great spreads to trade, by the way. Uh, one thing you'll notice on it has very, very tight bid offers. So uh, with a, you know, for an option, if you consider an option, 
That's a really, really tight bid offer spread on that. And let me try to, let's see here. Let's show you something if I can. I'm going to try it on the other screen. If it works, I'm going to pull it up. I'm going to let you look at it. But uh, here we go. Okay. What do we got on this? And... Okay, one more second. I want to try one more thing. And if I can do it, then I'll give you a nice little comparison here of option to option, what we're looking at. Okay? So on gold, you're buying a 100 options. Okay? So if you go in to buy a contract... You're buying a hundred of them, and let me. I'm going to grab a screenshot, and then I'm going to try to do that so I can zoom that screenshot for you, and we can just look at what the bid offers look like on gold options versus on Nadex itself. And with that, you should be able to, you know, sort of get the idea of how well they're priced. Okay, so okay, I got the screenshot. Bringing that over to share on Tiger TV screen here so you can see it. And then let me zoom on in. And we can look at the bid versus the offer. We're looking at about two to three uh, ticks there. So if we go in, what does that mean? Well, 18.3 versus like 18.6, that's 30 cents. Okay. So 30 cents being 0.3 times, you know, 100, that'd be a $30 bid offer spread. You'd only actually do 10 of them to equal one Nadex spread because to equalize them out at $10, you know, uh, a point there, $1 a tick. Uh, so you're looking at a... 30 cents times 10, a $3 bid offer spread um, trading CME. And not you're not getting, by the way, the full delta and all that other massive benefit from trading same day uh, versus, you know, one or two. So you're actually talking about basically instead of $3, you're talking about one or $2. So that's something definitely to keep in mind um, when looking at these contracts and to get the benefits of defined risk and all that other fun stuff. Okay. Um, and so there's also roles in Ninja. Ninja sometimes will have delayed roles. If it has a delayed role, it's pretty simple. You just edit the role date in Ninja. So let me show you an example of how to do that over here. Tools, you go to Instrument Manager. And if you wanted to roll a contract over early, which, by the way, if you do roll it over early, you need to put a note and roll it back, okay? But you can go in there, you can click... Search it under Tools Instrument Manager, type in GC, hit Edit, and then on the Miscellaneous tab, you scroll on down, and at the bottom, you click that, click the little the three little dots there, find your contract that you're looking at, and you can define what you want the roll date to be, and you can move it back, okay, to the roll date where you actually see the volume happening. So maybe Ninja has it as of, like, today at midnight, and it's not rolling for you yet, and you want to roll it. That you edit that date, close any chart you got, you know, and then reload all your data up, and you should be good to go. Okay. All right. Well, that's how to cover uh, gold and how to cover rolls. Um, and I talk a lot about the news on this show. If, you, if you've noticed, if you've watched it once or twice, you might know that. And let's go over it real quick. And we'll also talk about one of the things I talk about often when I talk about news is. Um, I go in and I talk about iron condors. It's one of the main strategies you'll hear me bringing up whenever um, I'm doing any kind of news trade. 90% of the time I'd say it's a iron condor, what I call an iron condor, um, just because of how the risk reward profile looks like and on down the list. It doesn't really matter as long as we all know what we're talking about, okay? And so I want to make sure you understand how to do the trade. Um, and let's see, we had one trade this morning and, um, and we have, you know, a few more trades coming out. Let's see, is there anything coming out this week? The one we had this morning, we had the U S capacity utilization, right? And, um, that one's already done. So I already went over that. We'll do that one. Next one. We got Frank retail sales. 
So just the one to get you caught up till next Tuesday. Frank Retail Sales coming up. That's going to be on Sunday night from 11 p.m. Enter the 7 a.m. expiration doing a $30 iron condor, meaning the minimum profit will be 30 bucks on the trade. And then, um, let's see, on Monday, we're going to have a few various events to be aware of, but the one tradable event, by the way, Canada will be having a bank holiday on Monday. Um, but the other tradable event on Monday night, we're going to have a 4.30 a.m. release, uh, various reports coming out of the pound. We entered at 11 o'clock for a 7 a.m. expiration with them, this one for about $35 on the trade. Um, and it looks like we do have uh, Vodafone, Walmart, Home Depot, a few other earnings announcements uh, scheduled to come on out as well. So uh, keep those. Wait a minute. That's, that one's off. Hold on one second. <laughs> we clicked on the wrong date for that one. Okay. Um, here it is. I was like, well, there shouldn't be any earning on that, earnings on that one. Okay. Sorry. Um, let's go back over. Let me start over on the news. I just accidentally clicked on the wrong date completely. Okay. Um, let's see here. Okay, Iron Condors. Okay, there are only two Iron Condors coming up between now and the show next Tuesday. Um, there are... That, that show... Let's see here. We got... Okay, we got the Aussie building approvals on the 31st. All right. So, again, I'm going to do a little reset for me. Aussie building approvals um, Sunday night. For a 9 p.m. to 11 p.m., entering at 9, exiting at an 11 o'clock expiration for a $30 profit. Okay. We have a straddle on pound manufacturing PMI for an 11 p.m. entry with a 7 a.m. expiration with a maximum risk of 40, which means you want to net $40 when you're done and not spend more than 40 bucks on the trade. And then we got um, two more on Monday morning. We're going to have... Euro dollar, um, our condor here uh, for $25 for 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. expiration. And then we have another one following up 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. for a $30 iron condor on the euro dollar on the ISM releases. Uh, and then that evening, we're going to have an Aussie dollar current account being released for $25 iron condor. Um, and then that evening, we're going to have another pound condor, 11 p.m. entry to 7 a.m. expiration for $35. And then we should have another on Condor on the Aussie cash rate from 12 a.m. to 2 a.m. for $30 right there. So that catches you up on the Iron Condors that we're going to have in the next three days until the next show. What is an Iron Condor? How does it work? That's sort of one of the things I wanted to dive in with you today um, and you know go through piece by piece. So when we get back, we're going to talk about what a Nadex spread, how they work. How do they compare to futures, proximity, optionality, premium, and how to collect it versus simply pay that premium? Next. Stay right there. Daryl Martin coined the phrase diagnostic trading and we're happy to announce that his diagnostic box spread analyzer has finally been released. The diagnostic box spread analyzer helps you easily identify the best box spreads on Nadex in seconds, plus you receive access to the diagnostic deviation levels as well as step-by-step -step training videos teaching you how to trade Nadex spreads so you can quickly master the mechanics of this simple yet powerful trading instrument. By pulling live data from the Nadex Exchange, the Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer does all the math for you, calculating risk, reward potential, distance to break even for both outright spreads and spreads used to hedge the underlying market. Visit the front page of TFNN.com today to get your two-week free trial to Daryl Martin's Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer and gain access to the valuable information it can provide when trading the Nadex Box Spreads. 
TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den, absolutely free, for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. Daryl, take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Alrighty, All right, folks, welcome back here to the Diagnostic Trading Hour. And what I want to talk to you today about is our iron condors. So on an iron condor... On a Nadex spread, not a binary, a spread. And what I want to do is I want to collect premium on these trades. That's my goal. Okay. So you have to sort of understand what premium is in order to be able to, you know, collect it, right? In essence, premium is the difference between where the spread is priced. Okay. So like where you buy or sell the spread and where the market is is currently at okay just remember that spread is priced and the market where it's currently at are quoting okay your bid offer there so let's look at an example and try to make this as simple as possible <laughs> okay so i'm going to go over here and let me load up just a really really basic template for you and just uh, with trying to put as little as I can on here, we'll see if this has exactly what I want on it. And if it does, then we'll be able to dive right into how to put on the specific condor to collect a crap load, a premium that's just sitting there for us. Okay. So, got the uh, letters a little bit bigger for you. As you can see, NASDAQ has been pretty range-bound today. 
Uh, it's really just hammering around a couple of magnet levels, stuck in between settlement point five, and it's currently quoting at forty five twenty nine. Okay, forty five twenty nine. So what I want you to do is I want you to look at this spread, this forty, the four fifteen. Okay, forty five hundred to forty five thirty spread. All right, now this is going to be maybe a scary looking spread for you, but I want you to look at that spread on Nadex. It's the 415 US Tech 100 spread, 4,500 to 4,300. And this is what the risk reward graph looks like on the trade, which can be very scary, okay? Because you see that there's all this risk if NASDAQ moves 23 points against us in the next two hours. And we hold on to the thing the entire time. This is not like a binary. This is not like a binary, meaning you don't make or lose everything based on a tenth of a pip or tick of expiration. One tick is one dollar. So the risk is very controllable. Okay, not only is it maxed out, but it's very controllable. Now, this is an in the money spread. This is really huge. Okay, when you see that it's in the money with an I or at the money with an A, that means the market is trading in between the floor and the ceiling of the spread. So this gray area is the market, okay? Trading at 45.28. That's right now we see 45.28. That's right in between 4,500 and 4,530, okay? So if it has an I or an A, A means that the proximity is really low, okay? But if it has an I or an A in the money or at the market, that means it's trading right in between the floor and the ceiling of the spread. We're right there. If it is in the money, then whatever the proximity is on the scanner, that is the premium you can collect by placing this trade. Notice if I buy this spread, I could buy it for 45.23. The market's basically at 45.29. Okay, so we got about a six point difference there, seven point difference almost there. Okay, so I can buy this thing pretty cheap compared to where the market is right now. I mean, and it's fluctuating up and down, but I can buy it really, really cheap. I can buy, I mean, who out there, just think about this, and I'm trying to get you to back up. Who out there wouldn't like to buy six points where lower than where the NASDAQ is right now? I mean, would you do that all day? Buy six points lower than where the market is? Well, we can do it. So we're going to buy this contract right here. We're going to open that up. We got that one listed. Okay. We're going to buy it basically about six points lower than where the market is. But we want to do both sides. That's just what makes it an iron condor. Okay. So we're basically going to do a range bound trade. Now look at the upper one, the 45.30 to 45.60. That one's trading now. I can sell it at 45.36. I can sell this thing eight points higher than where the market is. So we'll add that one on as well. Stay right there. We'll be right back. In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full customization capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. 
platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Techno Mental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock in option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. Trade with confidence and clarity while using the software that thousands of institutional traders rely on to make the best and most accurate decisions. Choose from a thousand equities, currencies, and futures instruments utilizing the TAS architecture. As seen on Bloomberg terminals worldwide, the TAS Profile Scanner is a benchmark technical filtering system that thousands of traders rely on, and now you can too. For a limited time for TFNN subscribers only, we've reduced the price to just $97. That's over 70 25% off. John Logan hosted a special subscriber only webinar in December, and you'll gain access to that archive as well, so you can learn exactly what the TAS Profile Scanner can do for you. Try this product out. No matter what you trade, the TAS Profile Scanner can help you make more informed trading decisions. There's no obligation to pay anything. Don't let this offer pass you by. Get your 30 day free trial to the TAS Profile Scanner today by signing up at TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. All right, folks, we're going back here to the Diagnostic Trading Hour. Okay, so. What are we doing? We went in and we said we're going to buy the 4,500 to 4,530 spread. And we said we're going to sell the 4,530 to 4,560 spread. Why would we do that? The risk is high. The profit is low in comparison. Well, if the market is sitting at 4,528 and I can buy it at 4,522.7, I'm buying you know, about five points, a little more than five points worth of the market, right? Just subtract 45.28 from 45.22, you know, okay? So if the market goes up, and if we just look at this one side of the spread, then I can make that max profit. I can make that 60-something dollars on the trade. If the market stays flat, then... The contract is going to settle out at where the market is at. So let's say the market expires at 45.30. I'll still make full profit. So if it goes up, I make full profit. If it stays flat, I make full profit. For every point it comes down, I give up basically $10. For every tenth of a tick, or you say tick on Nadex, it's a tick 7.1 on NASDAQ here, I give up $1 of my you know $60 or so profit potential. Okay? 
So I want you to think about this. this is how a contract works on Nadex. If I go in here and I buy this contract, so I bought it. Technically, I bought this contract for 4523 You can see my order received. Price right there. You can see the price size filled at 4523.2. Okay. So if I bought a contract at 4523.2, then every spread on Nadex takes an increment of one. It may be one or 0.1 or 0.01, but it always takes in like the last digit to one. Okay. Where the decimal is. Whatever that last digit is, is a tick. And that tick is always worth $1 per contract. Okay. And I can go in there and I can trade this really easy. $1 tick. For every tick that the NASDAQ expires of a 4523.2. Okay, the NASDAQ futures, when they settle out there on Nadex, at 4523.2, every tick above that, I make a dollar. The most I can make is all the way up to the ceiling at 4530. Okay? So... If I open up 45.30 minus 45.23.2, I can make $68 on this long trade. So 6.8, the last digit there is a is the tick size. So it's 68 ticks. Every tick's worth a dollar. I can make up to 68 bucks. And this is where if you'll get the long side, then we'll get the short side down. Okay. This is where if you get this, you got it. I can make up to $68 on that trade. Why? Because there's a ceiling. It stops making money at 4530. It can't make any more money at 4530 as of expiration. Okay? And what's in there is what's called premium. It's an option. And I'm buying it near the floor or near the ceiling. Okay? And um, if you traded a vanilla call, you know, if you bought a call at the strike that on the at-the-money strike, the strike that's where the market is, the premium is going to be higher, okay? That premium, that's that insurance policy, you know, it's like when you buy a house, you pay insurance, you buy a car, you pay insurance, that's your, you know, your monthly payment you got to pay. Well, you can be the guy paying that monthly payment or the guy receiving it, and you can do it monthly, daily, or hourly, okay? I like to receive it. If I'm going to deal with premium, I like to be the receiver of premium in most cases, Okay? So I go in here and I do the opposite of what a trader would think they should do. They think, oh, I should I should buy the one above and sell the one below because the risk is low and I can make a whole lot if it moves a whole lot. In this case, I can make money if the market does nothing or even moves quite a bit in either direction. Okay. So right now we understand that I can make up to 68 bucks on the trade. We got that number from the ceiling, 4530. Okay, the higher number on the spread is the ceiling. We subtracted it from the opening price, 4523.2. Okay, that's my maximum profit from as of when I entered into the trade. Okay, now I will make $1 less than 68 bucks for every 0.1 that the NASDAQ settles below 4530. So if it sells at 4529.9, Okay, as the average settlement price, then I'll make $67. If it settles at 4523.2, I will break even. If it settles at 4523.5, that's three ticks higher, I'd make $3. So I can make up to $68. Bucks, and right now, if the market stays where it is or goes up, I will make $68 on that. And it has to move down 6.8 points before I even hit break even as of expiration. Okay. So let's mark our max profit level, 4530. Okay, that's where we're going to make the most money, right? That's We would love the market to settle right there, okay? That would be awesome. But uh, now, as far as the long side, I don't care if it settles there or above. But for that long trade, if it settles 4530 or higher, I make 68 bucks. Where do I break even? Okay, where does it start? Where do I get to a break even on this? All right, so on this trade, if I get into it, I bought it at 4523.2. So right here, pretty much right there is where I break even. All right, 
And that may not seem big, but it's it's pretty big there. Let's see here. Let's zoom this a little better for you. Okay, so that is my break even. If I just bought the lower leg, I can make sixty-eight dollars or more. Or I'm sorry, sixty-eight dollars max or less down to forty-five twenty-three point two. I break even after that. As it starts at forty-five twenty-three, how much do I lose? If I bought it at 45.23.2 and it expires at 45.23, I lose two bucks. Okay, two dollars. Not bad. Okay, it's not like a binary. It's not all or nothing. It's just a dollar a tick. Now, I sold a spread also. Okay, so we bought this contract right here. So we got that one and we bought it. Okay, at 45.23.2. And so I just plotted the box basically where I bought it at and where it would be break even all by itself. That's my buy point. Okay. Now I sold the upper spread 4530 to 4560. So if I go over here, 4530. Let me grab the right uh, marker there. 4530, 4560, but I sold it at a sell price of 45.36. Okay. Now, on this trade, how much can I make? And where is it break even if I only do one leg? And that'll be the big key here. Okay. Looking at the trade, I went in, I sold at 45.36. The floor. The lower price of the spread is the max I can make if I'm selling. I go down to 45.30. So minus 45.30. Six point, oh, 60 ticks. Six dollars. Okay? So I can make 60 bucks on this trade. Right? We said we could make 60 on this one. We said we could make 68 on the other ones. There's a $60 max profit on this one. Okay? And then we have a $68 max profit on the other contract right here. That's one I bought. So I have a maximum profit now of how much? If I combine the two together, my max profit is going to be 128 Okay, that's how much I, the most I can make on this trade. Now, I'll make 60 bucks if it expires at 45.30 or lower on the upper spread. So if I sold at 45.36 and it set up at 45.30, that's six points lower. I'd make 60. Okay, if it settled at 45.25, I'd still make 60. If it settled at 45.35, that's one point lower, which is 10 ticks on Nadex there, I'd make $10. If it settled 45, 36.5, I'd lose $5. So for every tick it, ten, or dime, you can say lower than 45, 36, I will make a dollar all the way down to 45, 30. So I can make my max profit right there in the center at 128 bucks there. It's my max total profit I can make on this trade. Okay? So yes, we would love it to expire at 45, 30. Would be fantastic. Not expecting it to happen, but if it does, that's our profit potential. So first thing is to see the profit potential, see the individual, okay, this is key, see that individual break even. Now, can the contract, can the contract expire above 45.36 and below 45.23 at 415? Can the market be in both locations at the same time at expiration when it settles? No, it's going to settle at one price. Okay? It's going to settle at one price. Knowing that, I want to take advantage again of the premium. I want to be able to buy lower than the market, sell higher than the market. How do I use the scanner to find these contracts? What I do is I open up the scanner to everything so I can see everything that's listed. Okay? And then what I do is I look for buys 
that I can buy below the market, negative proximity. I can buy this lower than where the market is. I can buy it 71 ticks lower than where the market is. I look for sells that I can go in and sell higher than what the market is, a positive proximity, okay, higher than what the market is. All right. Once I have that down, I also, you know, verify my max profit there. And on both sides, it's like, okay, there's plenty of profit potential in the trade. It's a huge proximity, meaning there's tons of premium built into this thing. And this looks like a really solid, you know, trade setup for me to be able to take advantage of. Okay. So Again, I just look for that negative proximity on buys where there's profit potential. I don't want one of those negative proximities where I could, you know, there's a dollar I can make. I want negative proximity with good profit potential. Okay. And as a reminder, I said if it's in the money or at the money, if you had an I or A, that proximity is your profit potential as far as premium goes. Okay, that's the premium in the trade. Uh, premium you're paying if it's negative or you know on a sell or that you're receiving. Over time, if it's positive, on a sell. If it's a D for deep in the money or an O for out of the money, then the premium that you could receive would simply be what the max profit is on the trade if the number is negative. Okay, so if you find a negative proximity on a buy, and it's deep in the money, your max profit is the most you can make. If you find a negative number on a buy and it's in the money or at the money, then your premium you can receive is the proximity itself, so 26 ticks. If you find a D number and it's positive, like right here, here's that deep in the money, buy, um, and what we want is the ability to sell higher. So I can sell at 115 ticks higher than where the market is. But the most I can make if it's deep in the money is that max profit, 30 bucks. Okay? So the most I can make on that contract is $30. So I went with this one, which was in the money. So I can make $51 in premium on the trade. All right, now that we have down, we understand that we're looking for either a negative number when buying so we can buy lower than the market or a positive number on the scanner when selling so we can sell higher than the market. And we understand that if it's a in the money or an at the money, an I or an A, that, that proximity is our premium that we can make on the trade. If it's a D or an O, then the max profit is the premium that we can receive on the trade. If that confused you, I'm sorry. <laughs> Try to make it as simple as I can. Let's go back over and look at the risk reward. Hopefully you get how I got those two contracts. I just look for a big negative number, a big positive number, and a good profit. We got our break-evens individually. Now the powerful part is the break-evens when you combine them. And that's what I'm going to show you when we get back of how big of a profit zone we actually have on this trade. Stay right there. And we'll be right back. You take a hands-on approach to managing your investment strategy. You're always looking for the next trading opportunity to magnify your perspective. Direction Shares connects sophisticated traders with a powerful array of ETFs from a wide range of asset classes. The markets may go up and down, and you want tools for both sides of the trade. Discover how we can help at DirectionShares.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction Shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain 
contain this and other information about Direction Shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction Shares at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors employing dynamic strategies. Investors in the fund should understand the consequences of seeking daily investment results, understand the risk of shorting, and intend to actively monitor and manage their investments. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. We're told to follow our passion and everything else will fall into place. I hope that's what each of you are doing each and every day. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Money Master Show at TFN.com, and my passion for technical analysis is what led me to the most fundamental discovery and pattern recognition, the Rhodes Momentum Indicator, market scanner and trading strategy, a set of tools that identify the momentum and the power of the trend, the likes of which have never been seen before for every market and every time frame. Yes, folks, the trend is your friend, unless you're on the other side. New to technical analysis? This is the place to start. And experienced traders take advantage of the trend like never before. Experience the power of the Rhodes Momentum Indicator each day, available to subscribers of my newsletter service, Mastering Probability. I guarantee your satisfaction for the next 30 days unconditionally, so there's no risk to you other than being on the wrong side of the trend. Mastering Probability, available on the homepage of TFNN.com. And folks, live with passion. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. If you're like me, you see the world's emerging nations as a very real opportunity, as these countries and their economies are developing right before our eyes. And you can rest assured that Everbank has spotted this opportunity too. In fact, they've just released the second running of their five-year Market Safe Futures Economy CD. This is a CD that could really deliver, but you only have until June 11th to take advantage. Consider the facts. If the future economy's currencies beat the US dollar over the CD term, you'll get all of the upside at maturity. And should they lose, no worries. There's zero downside risk here, as you get back 100% of your deposited principal. Don't miss out. The June 11th funding deadline is quickly approaching. So hurry over to everbank.com slash TFNN hyphen CD for more information, including important product details and disclosures. Once again, that's everbank.com slash TFNN hyphen CD. Everbank is an equal housing lender and member FDIC. Join David Dwight as he keeps you up to date on the latest tech stocks while he uses his Power Law Vector Indicator to identify the best trades. The Power Trading Hour, next on TFNN. All right. So one thing I want you to notice right now as we're looking at this, notice how my long is really covering my short loss. You know, give or take a dollar off and on constantly right now as it's moving up and down, sort of breaking out, evening it out, okay? So, and understand, I still will make money at expiration if it expired right where it was. And as we said in the last uh, segment there, it can expire both way up here and way down here, okay? It can expire anywhere it wants to, but it's going to have to pick a spot. <laughs> so, this is our break-even on the short if we just sold. This is our break even on the long if we just bought. But we didn't just sell or just buy. We did both. So if I go in here and I go, well, I can make $68 on this trade. So if the market does fly up, like right now it's moving up, I'm going to make $68 on this because it's going to expire above 4530 
And I'm going to break even on this trade at 45.36. Okay. So if I broke even on that one, how much of a loss could I suffer on it and still be hedged with the long contract? Well, I could make 6.8 points. So it could move up to 45. Let's see what do we got. 36, 42.8. So at this point right here, 42 point, basically right there, about eight. Okay, so right here, this is my break-even point on the trade to the side up because this one could lose 6.8, and this one will make 6.8 if it does. Okay? So if it expired right there, my net payout, I would basically get all my money back and be break-even. For every tick higher, I'm losing a dollar. Okay? Now, what about if it goes down? Pulls on back. Well, this one, the one we sold, the 45.30 up to 45.60. Okay? If we sold that one, then... It expired below 45.30. We're going to make all $60. So I could literally get to all the way to break even on the one I bought, meaning I bought it at 45.23.2. So if it expired at 45.23.2, I'd break even. But if it drops six more points down to, what is that, uh, 45.17.2? Yeah. So, uh, let's see, 18, 19, 20, 20, 23. Yeah, still use my fingers. So, 17.2. If I have 17.2, basically, right down here. So, this right here, this is my break, even if it comes all the way down. That's massive. Okay. That means I have a range that the market can trade in of 25 points on the NASDAQ where I will make some amount of money if it stays between that range. Okay? Another way to put it is take your total premium that you can make and multiply it times two. All right, and that's pretty much how far it can move up. And so 128 up, 128 down. And then you'll lose a dollar after that. You make $128 if it expires in the middle. So every tick above the bottom, every tick below your break even, you make a dollar up to $128 profit on a 25 point range. Most amazing freaking range collection trade you can do. Watch this over and over again until you get it. Call in and ask questions. Have a great day. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. You're watching Tiger TV.